Kong's champion jockey and the first Australian to win the Premiership title here last season. But Zach Purton now has his sights set on the Melbourne Cup. It's obviously a race that every Australian jockey would love to win and it's really well known around the world now so there's a lot of other jockeys worldwide that have put this race uh, on their radar that they'd also like to win it and put the trophy in their cabinet. And Zach Purton is not short of trophies. Not only is he at the top of his game in Hong Kong, he's won Australia's biggest mile, the Doncaster, and this year's Caulfield Cup on Japanese horse Admirakti. He's now the favourite for the race that stops a nation and is confident Japan has a solid chance. Well obviously they're very bullish about their chances. Um, they don't travel unless they think they can win. Asia is now home to this former Brisbane jockey. He's based in Hong Kong and in the off season he races in Japan. He's well known on that circuit too after taking out the World Super Jockey Series in 2012. They've got probably nearly the best days in the world. They've got a very strong breeding industry that they've built up over a number of years and whenever a horse goes to Japan for, for their races, they really need to be at the top of their game just to be competitive. Racing in the same competitive circuit in Hong Kong is another world-class Australian jockey. Brett Preble has ridden more than 600 winners here, but one of his career highlights is his Melbourne Cup victory two years ago. You know, obviously as a kid growing up, that's the only race you ever want to win and it's a race that you can't, you can't really explain until you've won it. It's a, it's a very funny feeling, it stays with you for a long time, probably to the day you die, you know, obviously, but everyone, even here, like yourself, everyone asks about that race, you know, they haven't asked about the, the hundreds of other ones I've won. Born and raised in Ballarat in Victoria, Brett Preble's childhood dream was to win the Melbourne Cup. He's now ridden the race more than a dozen times and regularly flies home to race in the major carnivals. Been in my life since probably the age of five I've been riding horses. I love riding horses, I love them. I love the adrenaline, I love the competition. But the former champion apprentice and top international jockey spends most of his time on the Hong Kong circuit. He's been here more than a decade and says it's an honour to be involved in such a tough competition. Riding in Hong Kong, it's uh, very, very fortunate to be here privilege to be actually but it's like spring carnival every every race meeting you know there's 40,000 people here plus and uh, money's always big and it's, uh, it's the, the environment is so competitive and so tough. And this year a Hong Kong based jockey could take that honour again. Zach Pertons now had a taste of victory on Admire Acti in the Caulfield Cup and he's hoping to give Japan another chance to claim the Australian honours after it secured the Melbourne Cup eight years ago. Yeah, it's a race um, as a kid I always grew up um, infatuated with and watching and you know it was always going to be difficult when I left Australia. So yeah, now that I'm, I've got the opportunity I've got to try and make the most of it.